we smoked one set of batteries that was on its way out. One of the batteries went bad and just fried the other one as well. Just accepted too much current. Like every time we enter the ICW, I'm like, I feel like a loser. Yeah, we did hit pretty hard. A few times it was stressful. Stressful enough to turn a beautiful experience into a very negative one. I don't think you can even hear with this GoPro, honestly. I think we're probably like talking to this plastic shield. Um, with that emergency epoxy stuff. Where's the horses? Yeah. Wow. Look at them. You think they're wild? Drop the dinghy down, go to throw to land, and go get these new batteries. Well, that's not good either. Which one's like? These, this bank is smoked. Honestly, I should probably just get four at this point. Extra. Ta -da! Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We got another fuse, right? Subscribe and join us with the world at our keel. Below, 
What, what was it rated at? 30 feet? It's definitely been below 30 feet. Well, now it has the casing. Underwater. And now it has the casing because we learned that there is a limit. And now, it's been five minutes, and that's exactly what I said I didn't want. So a five minute clip to edit. So now it's. I don't think you can hear us though. channels at he's just skipping around this sailboat here this sailboat can't figure out tides and currents we're going the wrong way Cody knows best that's right Ben <laughs> that's what it is they're from North Carolina and that's their problem you're from North Carolina well, we don't need to discuss that I was I was from was from this past tense and now you're these from guys where? are from here present uh, now where am I from That would be a great question for someone to Citizens answer. of the world, baby. It's a very hard citizenship to have. I was birthed out of a coral head. Oh, man. It's been a while. Oh, I hate the ICW, but we have to do it. We have no... Well, we did have a shot. We could have made it around Hatteras to Norfolk before the next northerly. But Therese decided to go offshore with all this, with our crappy battery system. No, I think we, we uh, what are you doing? I was, I was interviewing me. I know, but he was Back to me. Screw him, he's got a yellow shirt on. He's in Fallies. He's in Fallies and look at the temperature. We don't trust cold. him. It's not cold. Probably actually pretty cold for him. He is going deep to the wind. Where were you What story were you He's an idiot, though. The tide's going the wrong way. Um, well, the, uh, first, I need a radio. I do need a handheld, for real. We do have our VHF on, but this cat bird here is a little slow, so we don't need him to switch on over so I can go past him. Because they're stupid. Technology is stupid. I hate technology. Yeah, obviously that this camera is going to be a lot better than this plastic. You gotta when you get to expert level diving. I'm just kidding. When you, <laughs> when you are so high on yourself right now. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off. You, and we're gonna you, leave it at when that. When you become a, a, an expert pro diver, okay. like myself, uh, you have to get one of these special cases. And I remember that most of the time. These cases here don't pick up sound very well, so all of my hysterical jokes that I've been telling the entire way down this stupid ICW that I hate to be on, I, you know, probably we won't be here to me. Since we hate it? We had to be here because Therese fried the battery bank on the way out from Cape Fear. We were doing great offshore. Wait, that's not the reason we're in the ICW. It's yes, weather, it and is. you have to go to work. It's not the weather. All I right. could have rounded Hatteras, but Therese slowed me down. We have like this problem these days where I, like, he rambles so much that I can't. <laughs> I hope you can handle it better than. Most me. people don't have to live with me, so they like it. Yeah. But if you get this 24-7, that's Millie the issue. Millie just fell asleep because it was too much. She don't even care, dude. She's like, she's pissed off that we're in the ICW too. She's like, this is boring, Dad. I'm going to fall asleep. There's no dolphins here. Okay, wrap it up. Why do I got to wrap it up? Speaking of wrapping it up. No, I'm going to shoot some B-Wool. No, speaking of wrapping it up, our batteries got fried today. And why would I say wrap it up when talking about batteries? All right, here's Scoop. If any of that was somewhat unclear, we had to cut our passage short just outside of Cape Fear when some batteries decided to call it quits. But no worries, we found replacements in Beaufort. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? The only hit? We missed our weather window, so now we're cruising up the ICW, not Cody's favorite. You know how much I love you. You put my favorite song on. I put my Alright, so we have made it up to Bear Creek, I believe it's called, up in here. And 
gonna anchor for the night and have a nice night's sleep. Can't wait. <laughs> Cody's pretty tired. He's been at the helm pretty much the whole way. It's been like gusting 20s um, through here. Um, it's pretty protected, but it's still been a little rolly. Um, these are weird fishing contraptions, though. Duck line. Duck? Duck hunting? Yeah. And we have some friends up in here. They're anchored. You can see the mast, I believe, up in there. And we just sing along, and I can't help. As we caught up to our friends, we figured why not make an adventure out of it? So we all headed up to Elizabeth City together to tackle the dismal swamp waterway to Norfolk, a route we hadn't explored before. With the promise of new scenery and great company, the excitement kicked up a notch. songs, honey.
leopards and lions. What do you think? You think maybe? I think for sure there's probably a snake here though. Somewhere out here. What do you think? More snake here? No. You think there's one? I think maybe they would live in there. You see one? Yeah. What do you see? It ran away? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> obstruction. We're just passing it now. The obstruction. After reading up on the Dismal Swamp, we were expecting a pretty uneventful trip. It was calm and peaceful, and with the boat ahead of us sporting a slightly shallower draft, we had a scout for any surprises along the way. You want to really meet boats. Here, hold this real quick. Good morning. So there's that stick. But it's kind of a free floating stick, right? This first one? I'm not sure. This is an issue. Little did we know about what was waiting between the locks. Slowing down for the locks this morning. Had a pretty uneventful trip up here. It's pretty narrow. Um, up to the southern, what is it called again? The southern something? The southern locks. We're going north um, from Elizabeth City. So, Southern Comfort. Southern what? Comfort. Comfort? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Really? It's not a bad rum. No. Actually, it, I think it's Southern pretty Comfort good. is a whiskey. Yeah. It's not the name of the lock for sure. But, um, but they should have named it. <laughs> should have named it that. Yeah. A little bit to go before the lock, and there's not much room, so I'm just going to take it real slow. What are you drinking? Milk. Milk. Yummy. Milk. I don't need help doing that. I got that one. I've done that no. one before. No. I didn't need help today. You didn't need help? Uh-huh. He didn't listen to me. What did he do? I didn't need help today. Listen to you? I'm Look. sorry not. What? Look. Look on his t-shirt. On my t-shirt? On his t-shirt. What's on there? The beach. A the beach, beach and a dock and some palm trees, huh? Oh, uh, Seema. Uh, yeah. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Are you here? Yeah. I'm here. I do. Man, we need to get a fishing pole ready and do some fishing right here. Huh? Why aren't we fishing? We could be fishing. I go fishing. We hey, do you be. need a new diaper? More fish. You my little monkey?
As we exited the first lock, we had our speed all mapped out to make it through the next one before it closed for the night. Everything was going smoothly and we were in high spirits until we hit our first obstacle. We practically launched over what must have been a tree lurking underwater and suddenly our expectations got a major reality check. Our friends ahead didn't feel a thing, so that six inch draft difference, or maybe just bad luck, became all too real. We tried to shake it off and stay extra cautious, but no depth sounder could save us from those hidden underwater surprises. By the second and third hit, Cody was ready to dial up a boatyard. It quickly dawned on us that the only way out was forward, bumping over whatever lay beneath us at the slowest speeds we could manage, while still hoping to make it to that second lock in time. And while I didn't catch any of it on camera, what happened after we barely made it through the second lock is unforgettable. Our friends, taking the lock master's advice, immediately ran aground. Just as a curiosity, I heard there's a shallow spot just on the back side of this box, or on the side of this box. We came up as close as we could, tossed them a line, and hauled them out. An event that's now permanently etched in our hearts. Equal parts laughter and pure disbelief. You ready to go listen to some music? No, go playground. Playground? Yeah. You look ready. Give me that, um, with that emergency epoxy stuff. Moving the truth. Deep enough. We never like stopped completely. We just jumped. 
Your boat? Uh -huh. He is under your boat. Uh -huh. He's checking if there's any damage. He's checking if we crashed into something and if it's broken. Do you think the boat's broken? What that sound, Mom? What's that sound? I think there's some kids over in that house. Um, where are my house? Where are your houses? Huh? Your house? No, my house is here. Over there? Oh, Did we make it? Sturdy boat. We are We're the missing official, bottom paint. That's We're the official owners of a tank. That's what you're saying? Freaking tank, dude. You felt those hits. <laughs> yeah, I did. So uh, I don't see anything. Hi, Daddy. I mean it's very I can't even see Come my hand in front of my freaking face. Daddy's very wet. Come here. But it's worth riding north with. Okay. Daddy back. That's good news. Daddy back. Yeah, I was nervous now. I just never nervous going into that freaking water. I'm Daddy, out with a third arm. <laughs> uh, All right, good news. High five, Mom. We're, we're only high five. I have less high than five? three foot. Nothing of wrong with the boat. I couldn't even see. Okay. I went underneath the keel and couldn't even see the the ground. And oh. we're in eight foot of water. Jeez. We're five by the ground. Oh, boat's okay, honey. Boat's not broken. That's good. Isn't that good? Not, Not broken. broken. It's all good. Yay! We're, 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 we're missing a lot of bottom paint. Okay. But I thought. There's an, I mean, I ring my hand. It's gotta be. Unless I'm like missing something. Looking good there, oh, stud. We must have freaking, where did we hit them? Must just be something floating in front of it. Is there any big animals in there? It was like eight feet of water. I don't know. Like, it's does, definitely a tree stump is what it sounded yeah, like. Yeah, it probably is where it's like cut off but not low enough, you know? Like it's just growing out of the ground. There's a bunch of those. So, yeah. Anyway, buy a dismal swamp. We'll never see you again. Well, but it was like...